This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Uh, this little solo offering today actually started out, well it was it was sort of sparked by a, a conversation I was having with one of my students. We were talking about the Dorian mode. Don't panic, I'm not going to get all techy on you. Um, if you're interested in what the Dorian mode is, um, I did a video on it a little while ago, link is in the description. But anyway, um, we were talking about the Dorian mode and... Um, I happen to mention that, you know, one guy who uses the Dorian mode a lot is Carlos Santana. And my student said, really? He says, because I've read in, you know, websites and in magazines and stuff like that, that uh, Angus Young also uses it a lot, which he does because it's an ideal scale to use for that kind of bluesy rock kind of thing that, you know, ACDC are uh, all about. Um, so I said, I'll tell you what, um, Let's imagine a chord sequence, just something that's kind of largely based around A minor going to D, and we'll hear it first of all, as it might appear on a Carlos Santana track, and then all you've got to do is throw a few kind of chunky power chords over the top of it, and suddenly it'll start sounding a little bit like it's leaning more to an ACDC kind of feel. Check it out, this is what, uh, what I'm talking about. See what I mean? As soon as you get those chunky Marshall-esque power chords going on over the top of it, it starts to sound a little bit like it's leaning more to an ACDC kind of vibe. And this got me thinking. I thought maybe I could do a sort of a, an ACDC Santana crossover kind of jam. That's the idea that sparked this. Of course, it ended up growing into something completely different because, you know, I was jamming and I was throwing in a few... Uh, Johnny Robson isms into proceedings as well, and it all ended up sounding a bit like this.
And of course, for all of my wonderful Patreon supporters, thank you guys so much. It is truly appreciated. I am really, really grateful for all, for all of your support. Uh, for all of you guys up on Patreon, just as soon as I get it all tabbed out, there will be a full tab of that solo and a jam track and a little explanation of exactly what's going on there and how I was kind of thinking as I was uh, playing the licks and phrases and, and stuff in that solo. So, you know, if you're interested in kind of getting that sound and stealing some of those licks, help yourself. That's what uh, the tab is all for. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you today, except to say that um, I'm recording this on Friday, uh, although you're not going to be seeing it until Saturday. So I'm hoping to see uh, a lot of you there for the 5 p.m. live stream tonight. 5 p.m. UK time on a Friday. We have a live stream. It's all about just having a beer and a chat and just kind of uh, kicking off the weekend with a little bit of R&R &R. so uh, be great if you could join me although it's already happened by the time you're watching this but it happens every Friday and don't forget if you're thinking about buying a fret zealot tuition device um, there's the discount code on screen there link in the description to make your purchase you'll get a little bit of money knocked off thanks to yours truly you're welcome and that's all I've got for you today I do hope you've enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching thank you for your time stay safe stay well and above all stay sane thanks for watching guys see you all next time around bye for now <laughs>